grads and students protesting outside Sally Mae's shareholder meeting, demanding the lending giant forgive their student loan debt. Now, Gary B., you say you're not surprised about this. Why? Well, we've become an entitlement nation. It is, you know, it's, if it's not Occupy Wall Street, it's this debacle here. You know, uh, I, like uh, probably many on this panel, I took out a student loan when I went to college. I didn't like paying it back. It was yeah. onerous. It was hard. I wasn't making much money when I was done with school, but that was the deal. Hopefully, these students went through some kind of cost-benefit analysis where they say, well, if I go to Podunk University, is it going to be worth $40,000 to pay off? They said yes. They signed on the dotted line. They got a low-interest loan. Now they have to pay it back. Why they're protesting, as I said, Brenda, it's just the age, unfortunately, that we're living in right now. You know, now. it's interesting because uh, back, back when you were uh, paying off the student loans, probably your interest rates were much higher than they are now, and, yeah. but tuition was probably a little bit lower. <laughs> uh, as was unemployment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Jonas, <laughs> let me ask you. We give a lot of forgiveness to people, say, who can't pay back their mortgages or whatever. But on this one issue, it's just no, you cannot, you cannot get rid of this through bankruptcy, nothing, for going to school, for going to college. Is that right? When, yeah, when you compare how students are treated by the federal government compared to homeowners, they are getting a raw deal. Now, I'm not saying they don't get stuff and grants and loans, but there's so much, on almost every layer, a home buyer gets treated with much better kid gloves than the school, than the, the education buyer. For example, you can't deduct the interest if you make too much money when you graduate, unlike a homeowner. You can borrow three quarters of a million dollars, tax back, to pay her back at a low rate to buy a McMansion, but there's very low caps on federally guaranteed low interest student loans. You have to go to the private market. You can't walk away from the debt very easily. You owe the federal government money for a student loan. They, you have 25 years where yeah. you're going to jail, basically, or they're going to garnish your wages. Homeowners, the home goes down 50 grand, like I'm walking. So, in my opinion, students have a de decent beef that, that the homeowner is getting a better right. deal than they are, and well, education is but, more important to our economy than buy McMansions. But, Ed, you say, look, you take a look at the contract, you sign it, you know you're getting this loan, you got to pay it back, huh? Yeah, I, I don't understand any of this at all. I mean, the mentality that uh, of, these, of these young people right now is somebody owes me something, somehow they were done wrong. I mean, they signed a contract. Contract. They know exactly what the interest rate was when they signed it. They made a commitment. I mean, what am I going to do? Go home and, and uh, uh, march out front of uh, Neiman Marcus? Am I going to go out front and you know <laughs> march in front of Macy's? I mean, this is absolutely ludicrous as to what they're doing. It makes no common sense. And by the way, Brenda, they're not actually protesting the interest rate. They're protest they're protesting the entire Higher loan. Thing. I mean, why, if, they, if that's yeah. the case, well, give back your college education. Yeah. Well, well, actually, yeah. now, now, Toby, yeah. you think this could have consequences far beyond just helping out students. That, that if, in fact, we did forgive these loans, it could have a major yeah. impact on our financial system? Well, I mean, there's a couple of things. Number one, it's, it's now a trillion dollars. So this is basically the new you know, subprime deal. Uh, and, 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 and if you look at, at this entitlement perspective, they were protesting. They want them wiped out. They want them absolved. Well, we don't have a trillion dollars. I got to tell you to give away here and this idea that somehow we could we're going to absolve and reject these loans it becomes a, another one of those little you know downward spirals for the people who actually made the loans and we can't afford it steve what do you how do you weigh in on this Look, first of all, let's not tar all the, all young people, everybody with student loans, saying they feel entitled. This is a small percentage of people who are out here demonstrating. There's a lot more students going to college on the GI Bill who have served in Iraq and Afghanistan than these demonstrators. But we do have a problem with too much student loan debt. It's a big drag on the economy. Absolutely. We need to reform our college system so that students don't have to borrow as much and come out so laden with debt. The students should be protesting the schools that are raising the tuitions faster than inflation for years after years of years. Not the poor lender with who's just trying to make the, the financing happen. Well, the students fault. should be going offline and online as they're doing now. And I tell you, in five years, some of these new online courses you can take from Stanford and from University of Michigan, those are going to be better courses, and they'll do them for 100 bucks a course. Gary B. 
Well, I, I just want to get back to something Jonas said. He said that homeowners are treated better. He's absolutely right. Homeowners should not be treated better. But at least in the case of the homeowner, the bank or whoever borrowed gets a, gets a house back. In, in this case, the, the, right. the loans are forgiven. <laughs> there's nothing there. So maybe they should be treated a little bit better because there's a hard asset. Well, perhaps there's no, educated homeowners aren't students. Treated that I mean, well. don't we need an, an educated workforce? Yeah, but a lot of these student loans are for $40,000 a year to learn about pre-Columbian art or 13th century tapestries. <laughs> and, you know, I'm sorry, dude. We're going to lend you 120 grand. And you're stupid enough to do that. But yeah, don't cry that I can't pay my That's number. true, but this, the governments have cut back on the support to state schools, so the tuitions have gone up, leading to more borrowing. At the same time, the federal government has increased the backing of home buyers to higher Fannie limits, higher FHA limits, so they've, they've handed more money to homeowners and taken, oh, take it away. From the students, so they have to borrow more. It's but another it's bubble. Okay. It's another bubble, All just right. like housing. You're right. Okay, so you're not going to be having your uh, kids majoring in basket weaving, I guess. <laughs> it it okay. worked for me, but All not right. everybody. <laughs> All right.